guys, what's going on? It's Ash here coming at you today with a quick double upload a bonus news video for you guys. Now, you guys were really positive and receptive to my very quick like three minute news video last week when I had some breaking news about the new card. And I have some again today that you probably haven't seen in other YouTube videos, at least at the time of this recording. That's why I decided to bring it to you guys again in a short format. I'm not going to add a bunch of filler, just going to talk about what I know for you guys. So we know about the Goblin Giant. Let's go ahead and uh, heart the news thing. I always forget to heart them. And let's watch the video together, guys. I want to share all the information that I have uh, for you guys on this new card. I'm trying to go full screen. Okay. So the, the giant goblin or the goblin giant, but basically what he's going to be, guys, is a six elixir epic card. A six elixir epic card that spawns with two goblin spear goblins on his back. These spear goblins can target anything 360 degrees around the uh, the giant goblin, and the giant goblin, of course, has some sort of a melee attack. Now, the spear goblins cannot be killed or targeted until the giant goblin is dead. When he dies, the two spear goblins will actually spawn, and then they, they'll essentially fall off from the dead giant goblin, and then they'll be able to be killed after that. So that is everything that I officially know about the card. I want to give kind of my first impressions. We don't, we, we still have to see this card in action to give kind of a full assessment. We don't know any of the stats, what the DPS is going to be, what the hit points are going to be just yet, but it sounds pretty dang strong. Unlike Rascals, which was my main concern in, in let's, let's, uh, <laughs> what are we doing here? We're watching, uh, we're just watching YouTube. Uh, uh, it was my big concern was to make them so much like Rascals rascals where it's just two range units behind one big tanky melee unit wasn't too appealing wasn't too interesting to me the fact that they do have some sort of an interesting mechanic with those spear goblins i don't know my first impression is it sounds pretty powerful for six elixir it's the same cost of a kind of giant skeleton and i kind of look at it as a giant skeleton type card meaning that i don't see it as a solo win condition however i could be wrong we we don't know whether it targets buildings or it just targets anything. My hunch is it targets anything because of the spear goblin mechanic, but it would be kind of interesting if the giant targeted buildings and the spear goblin supported targeting anything. Again, we don't know the facts about that just yet, but guys, I told you all the new information that I know about the card. I will be back at it again in about, I don't know, six, seven hours with another upload that I think you guys are really going to enjoy. Just thank you so much for the continued support and for continuing to tune into the channel. I really appreciate it, guys, and subscribe for all the news as soon as humanly possible regarding the update in September, the new card, balance changes, and everything else. Guys, huge shout out to Bren Chong, my YouTube partner. Check out his information in the description below. Thank you for watching. See you later on today, and as always, take care, guys.